tutorial video, Collaborative Robot Safety Video 1. Hello, thank you for choosing Omron's TM Collaborative Robot. We have prepared two videos to explain the safety of collaborative robots. In this first video, we will talk about the safety standards and safety functions, emergency stop and protective stop, and then the safety output functions. It is important to note that this video is intended to be an introductory guide only. Every robot application is different, and each installation must go through a thorough safety risk assessment before operation. For further important information on safety, please refer to the safety manual, software manual, and hardware installation manual. Safety standards and safety functions. Here is a slide that shows the hierarchy of the international standards that are relevant to the safety of collaborative robot operation. The Omron TM robots comply with the combined scope of ISO 10218-1 and ISO TS-15066 for human-robot cooperational safety, allowing the robot to be programmed with both speed and force limits. Currently, Omron has 17 certified safety functions that were all certified to be compliant with ISO 13849-1 as performance level D. ISO 13849 defines how a safety-related control system must be designed to achieve a specific performance level, and performance level D is the second highest reliability classification, meaning that the safety function is reliable. Force and speed monitoring are the defining capabilities of collaborative robots. The safety functions of the Omron TM robots, including power limit and force limit, are always active and compliant with ISO 13849-1. All compliance with safety standards were tested and certified by SGS, an organization based in Switzerland that provides inspection, verification, testing, and certification services. The certificates of compliance from SGS can be found in our safety manual. Emergency Stop and Protective Stop There are two types of safety stops, the Emergency Stop, or E-Stop, and the Protective Stop. E-Stop is initiated when a person hits the E-Stop button on the robot stick. When E-Stop is initiated, the robot will make a safe stop, and then the power will be removed. You will have to recover the robot from e-stop before it can go back to operation. Meanwhile, a protective stop is a controlled stop with power left available for the robot. So for example, you can pause the robot's operation when a person comes inside its workspace. In regards to the safety standard ISO 13850, there are three stop categories. With Omron TM robots, the emergency stop is stop category 1, where the robot's motion is stopped in a controlled manner with the power needed for that stop. The power is cut when the stop is achieved. On the other hand, the protective stop is stop category 2, which is also a controlled stop, where the power is still available to the robot after the stop is achieved. There is also a safety function called encoder standstill. This safety function is automatically activated after every Category 2 stop. Encoders of each joint are monitored continuously to check if there is any unintended motion until the robot is reset from the state of Category 2 stop. If there is any unintended motion, this safety function will trigger a Category 0 stop, where the robot motion is stopped by an immediate power cut to the robot. When there is a discrepancy detected between two safety channels, the system will perform a Category 0 stop also. This is the I.O. module in the control box of the Omron TM robots. There are 10 safety input ports and 10 safety output ports. Safety output functions. Safety functions 10 to 14 provide the safety output functions connecting to other devices for system integration. This means Omron TM robots will constantly send out information about their status to other devices that need that information. For example, many users are interested in mounting the Omron TM robot onto a mobile robot so that it can autonomously move from one location to another. In this case, the mobile robot needs to know the status of the Omron TM robot to ensure the safe operation of the integrated equipment. 
By connecting to the safety output, if the Omron TM robot comes to an emergency stop, that signal will immediately be sent to the mobile robot so that the mobile robot can also make a safe stop. A more common application would be for the feedback signal to be sent to the PLC, or Programmable Logic Controller, so that the safety information from the Omron TM robot can be shared with the other equipment within your automation system controlled by the PLC. This concludes video one on collaborative robot safety. In the second video, we will show you how to use the Omron TM collaborative robot software to set up the robot's movements in order to create a safe work environment.